What's the most annoying thing about you, according to your family members? Um, what's the most <laughs> annoying thing? <laughs> As if there's anything. You could probably answer this question for them, Josh. <laughs> I'm sure you've got a list there. <laughs> Can I get 10 more minutes? <laughs> uh, yeah. Prepare your ears, humans. Happy, sad, confused begins now. Hey guys, welcome to another edition of Happy, Sad, Confused. I'm Josh Horowitz. Look, if you know the podcast, you know there are certain guests that I have trouble, frankly, just even getting rid of. And like a bad penny, this gentleman keeps turning up. Yeah, and we'll just, just get on with it. Sam Hewen. Yeah. Outlander, hmm. men in kilts. Right. Every booze you could imagine. Uh-huh. And he's now teaching us to love again. Yeah. It's well, you need, you need some lessons, I really dear do. boy. <laughs> <laughs> I, I really do. Uh, I want to remind the audience out there, if you're in the New York area, uh, we do some of these live. Uh, John Cena, you're a big wrestling fan. You strike uh, come me. come on. Yeah, and now he's like a movie star. He's a big-time movie star. Yeah. Uh, John Cena, maybe. Are you wrestling him? I hope not. Oh. I have to look at my contract now. <laughs> <laughs> if you're in the area, come check us out. Uh, link in the show notes, all that stuff. All right, Sam, mm. let's catch up, buddy. It's good to see you. Yeah, and by the end of this, I want to have you in a headlock. Well, usually it starts out that way, and then yeah. we get class. It does. We get physical, don't we? <sighs> um, how's it going? You're in the, the throes of an ex- this is a new. This is a new one. This is not since, uh, uh, what was the um, the one back in the day, uh, Princess for Christmas? Uh, this oh, is... that, was an, that was another. That was a lifetime a ago. Lifetime ago. Yeah, no, love again. Uh, we're here, right? And very happy that the movie's finally coming out. We shot it in 2020 uh, during the pandemic. So um, this is a little pandemic baby. It's, a, it's been a long time coming. We've been talking about this one for a while. Um, I, I mean, I can see the attraction of this. Of course, you have uh, Priyanka mm. Chopra Jonas. Mm. You have Celine Dion. Mm -hmm. um, are you are you now closer to Celine than, than me? Uh, compare and contrast the oh, relationships. How close are you? Am I going to get FOMO? Am I going to, like... I'm just saying, who do you feel like in a pinch you would uh, ring uh, more? For uh, advice? Yeah. Um, Love advice? I mean, look, Celine, she's the, the god the, the god guru of love. Uh, I mean, all of her music is uh, iconic. Um, she's done soundtracks to other great romantic movies. And so why, why would you not yeah. speak to her? Um, yeah, no, really happy. And obviously Priyanka is just such a star. She's so fun to work with. She's the heart of this movie. And uh, yeah, we had a blast shooting it. What's the small talk with Celine Dion on set? Um, like, how do you, like, do you get nervous about something like that? That's, like, not just another actor. That is literally, that's, like, you can count on two hands, like, icons, like Celine. Yeah. So what do you, like, hey? Uh, hey, what's, uh, sung any good songs recently? Right. Yeah. Basically. That's probably <laughs> it. Uh, no, she's such a, a professional. She's so, it was her acting debut. Yeah. I, Way I, over. Uh, fine. Absolutely fine. Way better than us at it, us professional actors. <laughs> um, she's very funny in the movie. She's down to earth and um, she plays herself, uh, but so good at it. You know, yeah. it's it's slightly knowing, uh, cheeky, uh, and, and really heartfelt as well. So of course she's a great performer. Has she seen Outlander or Bloodshot? What's her Sam Hewen deal? What's she, what's she most in? How, how often was she talking about Bloodshot with you? She, I mean, she loves Bloodshot, obviously. Uh, <laughs> seminal production, but uh, she knows Outlander. I don't know how many episodes. I should have quizzed her on you that. Should I should have. ask her, actually. I like to always put people yeah. on the spot. How many have you, you know. watched? I'm, all of them. Uh -huh. We're going to be having a, a real uh, in-depth conversation very soon. Oh, uh, really? You want to put me to the test? Yeah. Now you do. <laughs> what season do we go to I'm America? <laughs> hey, my heart will go on. Remember uh -huh. that song? Yeah. Okay, tell me this. Mm. How many times have you sung that karaoke in the shower? Is it in your repertoire? Yeah, we, well, listen, we, we were in a bubble, COVID bubble. So the cast, or we hung out a lot. Priyanka is such a like big entertainer heart the, entertainer. Yeah, yeah. We were always went to her house a lot, big dinners, and it was so fun. And her family, who literally felt like extended family. Someone bought this cheap karaoke machine that like plays music, oh, really? and of course. I mean, literally every, every, every night we, we ended up singing that song. Um, and I, 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 I challenge anyone to go watch this movie and not leave, humming it at least. Were you, were you a Titanic guy growing up? Did you? Uh, I enjoyed it. Sure. I certainly enjoyed it. Um, Compare and contrast for me. Yeah. Jamie and Claire's uh, relationship mm, and or uh, Jack and Jack and Rose. Who's got the better romance going? Oh, come on. I mean, he dies. I mean, and there was blatantly room on the on the door, right? <laughs> oh, you're one of those. Yeah, 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 yeah. She, she, she just left him. 
Is Jesus. that is that not a spoiler alert? That's how Outlander ends, right? You're... That's exactly how it's going to end. Yeah, on the door that Jamie built. Right. <laughs> yeah, from the big house. He's just going to... But he was smart enough to make room for yeah. two. Yeah, and he's built a little lifeboat. A little, <laughs> little life dinghy. raft. Yeah, and they just float off. I hope the last scene is those little wings on you, and you're just sort of, you know... A water wing yeah. swimming away? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I'm okay. I'll be okay. Claire. <laughs> I can't remember how to do the accent anymore. You play uh, Rob Rob Buns Rob Burns. What's the Rob Burns? I thought I thought it was Buns. That seemed more appropriate. Buns. Yeah. Was that the, what's your favorite character name you've ever played? Do you know why he's called Rob Buns? Chafing issues. What? I don't know. Oh, God, you what? really did your research. What? Rob Burns is a very famous. It's, it's, it's a little nod to a sc- very famous Scottish poet, oh. Robert Burns, who who w- Bobby wrote, Burns. Bobby Burns. There you go, <laughs> that man. You've got it. Yes. No, we liked it. It was such a nice little nod to his heritage okay. and to the well, fact that he insulted was insulted all of Scotland. <laughs> Everyone in Scotland's like, yes, finally. Um, no, it was a really nice little nod because Robert Burns was this famous Scottish poet who wrote all about love. Oh, there you go. Okay, that does make sense. My yeah. stupid joke now. Oh, I, go I do the bar- Sorry, sorry. No, no, I don't want to do Rob any more Buns. jokes. Yeah. No, no. Um, it, that, it did strike me watching this movie. Mm. Is this a loose, uh, is it loosely inspired by our relationship? Follow me with this. Oh. You play an entertainment journalist. You're, 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 you're charming, but you're mm. kind of little, you know, you make some bad calls. Mm-hmm. There's a sad montage of Sam in this, much uh-huh. like we've shot ourselves. Mm. You play Would You Rather games. You play games as we mm-hmm. often have. Yep. Do you have something to say to me? I do. I, the glasses were a little too much. I thought <laughs> when I tried them, I was like, they were like, no, don't use glasses. Use headphones. Right. Because he's music journalist. There you go. This is like Daniel Day Lewis, like studying yeah. for years. You've been. This has I, been the long con. I've been using with me. you this whole time. Amazing. I've been studying you. <laughs> so what you mentioned, yeah, like. It's sometimes the little things in film and TV that I, I would imagine for an actor are difficult. Like typing, pretending, oh. like like credibly yeah. typing, texting. Yeah. Are those, am I wrong? Are those the kind Can of Can I tell you something? Yeah. You're absolutely right. Now, they've got this amazing technology, which means you don't have to do it. <laughs> it's programmed into it, right? And you just do this, <laughs> like the cat playing the <laughs> piano thing, right? And the words magically appear. But... If you look closely enough, obviously your fingers have got to like correspond. So right. you kind of then, it's really weird. So then you've got to obviously know what you're typing, but do it as, as it's doing it. And I don't know. So you're almost following the lead. It's the AI. It's the taking AI over. taking over. Yeah. 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 It's it's kind of difficult. Add it to your skill set. That's excellent. Thanks very much. Um, are, in your friend group, um, are you generally the one that gives advice for romantic relationships or receives advice? Someone's having an issue. Um... I, I mean, I would say, look, I, on Outlander, Katrina's obviously a very good friend of mine. She gives advice. Yeah. She's very good at advice. Uh, with my other friends outside of the show, um, I would say I try to give them advice. Try to. I uh, try to, yeah. 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 Do they receive it? Is it good advice? Maybe self-analytical for a moment. I'm Do you have good very, instincts? I, I'm, no. No, don't listen to me. <laughs> don't. That's the best advice is yeah, ignore Yeah, just don't Sam. listen to me. Yeah, ignore yeah. everything I say. Right. Yeah. What yeah. do you think the... Um, the optimal number of marriages is in a, in a life. Polygamy is absolutely <laughs> a, a way of life. It's, for some, it works. Yeah. Hey, this one had a, a number of titles. I always love it when the movie mm. goes through different title iterations. Is this the happy the, the one you like? So we have Love Again, of course, is the final title. Perfect. But there was Text for You. Uh, and then there was It's All Coming Back to Me, of course, for oh, Celine. Great. But this is this feels... There was also the German version. What's that? Text for Dich. Really? Which could be misconstrued. Yeah, that's probably a good call. Hmm. Um, we landed on the right one, though? I think we did. Okay. Love again. I mean, you know, all the, both characters learn to love again in this, and I think, you know, um, they're both going through, you know, different kinds of heartache, uh, whether it's Muir's character who's, you know, lost a, a lover, and, and his, where he's, you know, f- kind of fallen out of love, you yeah. know, he's he's become cynical about it, much like yourself. And um, yeah, I think they both obviously learned to open up to the universe and, and the songs of Celine Dion.